so because I've usually had seeds in that tank I can't bring mineral feed that way however since we are now uh, moving all of our arable equipment over to the arable yard I can put seeds in the tank over there and um, mineral feed over here and the limiting pro you know the limiting factor of production for the robot is our supply of mineral feed um, and it, it's it I can bring back 14,000 liters approximately of mineral feed in our uh, grain cart I could probably bring back more if I stack them but as you can see there oh we still have 5,000 liters of mineral feed in the feeder so yeah I'm kind of not sure 411,000 liters of food that's what's in the trough and I don't know if that has anything to do with the cows or whether it's to do yeah the number of cows I have or whether it's just what the robots manage to accumulate one thing I have been warned with this map is if you do have a thousand cows the robot cannot keep up with the food production so at that point I'm going to need to look at um, stuff um, oh we're out of hay good spot oh, darn. yeah we've also got 90,000 liters of silage which is also not a good thing um mm, no. well the good news is, is i got 400,000 liters of food in there so um yeah the rate they're going through this food is quite fast but seriously gonna need some hay which seriously means um looking at these and saying that's a hay contract. That's a hay contract. That's a wrapping contract. That's a hay contract. Normally I don't like, well, okay, logistics wise. I don't mind doing a hay contract, but I'm really only looking at 9,000, 13,000, 9,000. So if I took those three, what, 31,000 income? Because the hay isn't very valuable. So selling the hay off at the at the dealership it's not going to yield me much money it's probably going to do me more good going in there so i'll do three or four of them and uh you know i'll drop off the hay as i, I what typically if i'm doing a, a a massive contracts like that i'll grab the hay or I'll, I'll mow everything, I'll ted everything, I'll row everything, I'll bale everything, and then I'll go and collect the bales. So all of the bales have been produced, and all I am then doing is um, collecting the bales at the end. So I'm I'm selling all, you know, I'm I'm delivering all of the bales, and typically the last field, field and a half aren't wanted I've completed all the contracts so I just have to collect the bales on the last two you know the last two fields bring them back to the farm so if I'm doing a, bay, uh, a hay contract that's going to end up as food for the for the cows um, silage not so much and also because grass silage doesn't um, work with the robot I have to come up with something else so that that's gonna be a challenge but we do have the nice thing is we do have all of the the grass work production equipment we got our own mower baler um, tedder over there and rake so I don't have to borrow the equipment and I can with the super contracts whatever it is enhanced contract mod that i'm running i can take as many contracts as i want so uh, possibly uh april 2nd um, i will be looking at doing a whole bunch of uh, contracts i'm gonna have to take some time out
of my busy work week to play some farm sim. This is also typically this is one of the reasons I don't stream, you know, for uh, subscribers or anything like that is because this is the only day I actually play farm sim. This is the only day I play computer games. Is Saturday morning because. Mrs. Osa likes to sleep in, and Teenage Osa likes to sleep in, so I get up at 6 o'clock every morning. And so I've got the entire morning to myself, and so, yeah, it's as good a time as any, and nobody's going to get disturbed, especially if I, not keep, if I keep all the doors shut, which I do. Um, weekdays not so easy because occasionally I have demands on my time from work so I can't necessarily say well I'll just yeah I'll, I'll stream at six o'clock on Tuesday because something comes up at work and I can't tell anybody but I ain't streaming tonight because work and work pays the bills so that's a thing um, also uh, Mrs. Osa and Teenage Osa tends to have a few more demands when they're awake. Um, and we're still trying to figure all that stuff out. And I'm getting older. I'm not staying up till 10 o'clock at night anymore. That was the other thing when I was streaming. It did. It didn't really matter if I was streaming till 10 o'clock. That was fine, but I'm getting so old. So 9 o'clock, I sort of, oh, I just want to go to sleep now. And back when we had sort of young seven-year-old and under kids, you know, they'd go to bed at 7 o'clock. And I, you know, even then, I've still got a couple of hours after they've gone to bed that I can, I can stream on. But not so much right now. Okay, that tractor, I think, is done with. Well, actually, not so much. I think what I'll do is I'll keep this one out. I'll get the bales loaded into the, the wrapper using the Massey later. And we'll jump out and put this thing away. This is an impressive bale lifter. Oh, that sounded like doors. Not my thoughts. Okay. Ooh. Mrs. Osa did say she was going to get some gas, gas for the car and uh, then collect the kids and go to the grocery store for some sandwich meat and yeah couple of bits and pieces that we're going to need for the coming week. As I said, yeah, with Mrs. Osa in hospital, we're not going to be doing any serious gourmet cooking. It's going to be simple stuff as needed when we get home from the hospital after visiting and stuff like that. So, um, The kids, the smaller kids are former foster care. Oh, first Saturday of the month, the uh, the air raid sirens are being tested. Um, so we had them until quite a few years ago. Um, over the course of their lives, we've had them for about three total years, I would guess, just under. Uh, but their mum started behaving, so they went back to their mum. But mum says we were so um, pivotal and pivotal in their early development that they still want to visit with us. So we're kind of like parents, uh, grandparents. They come around and visit the grandparents type of thing. And since none of them have dads because the dads are all dead and they don't keep in touch with their paternal grandparents, we kind of make up the difference. We have an adoptive daughter. <coughs> 
who obviously lives with us permanently until she ages out. And um, so yeah, the, the kids that come over are our former foster care who visit fairly frequently. Mrs. Osa is in going into hospital. She had a major procedure last year, um, which because of all the infection that she had, they had to temporarily do stuff that just to get by. And so this visit is going to be surgery to reverse all of the temporary stuff. Um, last year, I mean, as an example, they said, okay, well, this is a fairly simple surgery. It should take about three hours. They were in the surgery, surgical theater for about 10 or more. And they said she's going to be in hospital for three days when we dropped her off. And that turned into two weeks. Um, so it was a really tough recovery. Um, but they said, you know, everything we had to do just to get things done, we, we will need to reverse. So we are now at the point where they're ready to reverse all of the temporary fixes that they did and uh, that's happening on Monday what's this thing this silo is empty this silo takes liquid fertilizer that's handy we will put some in there now one thing I can do obviously with the uh, the storage facilities here. I'm going to keep the, the grain silo at the other yard. Oh. And I'm going to keep the seed thing at the other yard because the seed thing doubles up as a mineral feeder. Why aren't you emptying into that tank? Whatever. Um, but I think the liquid fertilizer, the seeds and the solid fertilizer is going to come over here. Why aren't you emptying in there? Do I have to... It's kind of a, uh, a difficult um, detection area for the filling and emptying on these tanks. I managed to figure it out where it was with the other one. And the problem is, is it might actually be in that shed. Um, for some reason, they test the sirens. I think they're actually tornado warning sirens. Um, but they test the sirens every first Saturday of the month here at midday. For some reason, that is not filling up. Come on, dude. There we go. So as I said, I'm not sure where the, the fill detection is on this tank. It doesn't seem to be there. I'm really relying on the the unload here button to come up. Um, look at the tank. I'm really not finding it, and this is annoying because liquid fertilizer tanks aren't the sort of tanks that you can uh, uh, 
um, just I don't think you can pick up a, a liquid fertilizer thing okay let's drive out and drive back again Nothing. No. I don't want it over there. I want it in the canister. Gee. And maybe the thing I have to do here is to uh, move that silo entirely. I mean, it, it's it's fine when it comes to um, obviously diesel and filling it. I can come here. I can just say, yeah, I want 173,500 liters. No, I want yeah, 2,000 liters of liquid fertilizer. Buy it, and I can just drive the tank up to the side here, and it will it will fill. What it's not doing is unloading. I'm going over to the other farm. Now typically to unload I drive in this way and unload it there. <sighs> and maybe I just can't get to it. See, that would seem to indicate that I come in this way and I unload it. I would have to drive the tractor into that wall, which is why I was trying to reverse it into this corner and maybe have it detect. Uh, it's not working. Anyway, not to worry. This is all going to live down here. Um, if I get a manure truck, it's going to live at the other farm. If I get a spreader, it's going to live here. I'm going to be storing stuff like herbicide and lime under cover here and carry this in here i could bring the fertilizer ibc's in here as well um, we'll be storing seed here i think is this the seed silo nope that's the solid fertilizer tank so that must be the seed silo yeah, that's the seed silo. And then we've got grain silos here uh, for pack. Um, I'll be using the grain silo at the other farm as well. And the seed silo for minerals. But theoretically, we come back here. I could get rid of... I could rearrange this yard. I could then get rid of... This is the solid fertilizer tank. I don't need that here anymore. Especially not since this yard is now using manure in there. Um, the seed and the silo is there. The liquid fertilizer tank, I could get rid of that. I don't need that anymore. And I could rearrange this edge to have a big shed and a couple of uh, silage clamps at the end. Um, and just make this a, an animal yard. Uh, might reduce, I might take that out and put in a smaller maintenance shed but you know it's it's sort of now tailoring this yard for something a little bit more specific um, possibly remove some of the sheds over here put in some more gardens um, yeah I don't know yeah we could see we could take out all of those sheds and then put in gardens along here and uh, do something there. Another thing I'm going to keep my eye out for. Uh, Disturb Simulations is the person who did the Are Chickens Worth It in Maze Plus. He's doing other animals as well. Obviously, I'm definitely of the opinion cows are worth it in Maze Plus. I don't know if pigs are, but we do have a pig shed here. So I could expand into piggies. Um, the only downside with the piggies are... 
Um, as I said, they've got a manure, their own manure pit, which also already has 14,000 litres of manure in it. Um, the back walls of those sheds are part of the pig enclosure, so if I take those down, I've got to put something else in that place. <coughs> and it can't really be a garden. Because <coughs> piggies are just going to take that fence out and eat all my tomatoes. <coughs> But anyway, it is the first day of April, in-game. Uh, there's a couple of nice things up for sale, but we don't need them right now. I see that, and big equipment. That, yeah, if it, if it was planting time, I would consider that might be a good thing, although I'm only planting soybeans at the moment, and you can plant soybeans with a normal cedar. Discarrow cedars. Where do cedars go? Oh, there's the cedars. Um, yeah, these things. This pl this plants soybeans. So everything I plant currently can be planted by one of these. So I would kind of prefer a planter to a cedar to a planter. That's all I'm saying right now. Eventually, we're going to be planting um, probably sugar beets and corn, and I'm going to need a planter for that. Um, but anyway, not long-term plans for the farm. I mean, at the moment we have a ton of income from the cows every month. I am desperate for hay. Now my game rule is I can only do one day, game day, of contracts. So if I did contracts right now, I've basically got about eight hours before the sun goes down. If I wait until tomorrow, I can do contracts all day tomorrow. But the reason I'm limiting myself to that is contracts are easy income. And I don't want to say, well, I'll just play, you know, three days at 12 hours a day, 36 hours, and I'll do 36 hours worth of contracts because that will just artificially increase my bank balance faster than it really needs to do. I'm trying to make the farm work, not make everybody else's farm work, if you like. So, there, that's where we're sitting at the moment. But thank you for spotting I Need Hay. And I will probably get on to that second day of April. What I might do is next week um, have the hay contracts completed, bailed, and ready to deliver. And we'll do that at the start of next week's stream. Um, We'll see. Because um, there's not a lot else I have to do on the farm. Um, we're going to have to um, herbicide the soybeans when they grow May 1. But really, <coughs> the farm is good until July, August when we start harvesting again. So most of the next few months are going to be contracts and probably possibly us worrying about what's going on with our cows and how we're going to afford stuff. Obviously, uh, three trips per day or three three trips per month <coughs> and thirty five thousand income per day from milk. That was two trips on one day. So that's actually four trips total for that month. <coughs> you can see we're making a ton of money there. And so um yeah, it's it's going to keep us covered and I, and consequently I don't mind saying oh 36,000 um I need some hay. Uh, look, hay. I could buy 24 bales of hay. It's a lot of hay. Although I'd probably buy round ones. That's how you tell. They're 4,500 litres in round and 8,000 litres as squares. 
But I don't have a, a square transport. Well, I don't have a square transport. I've got the the Roland flatbed. I could manually load them on the back. But you know, it's it's a case of I, I they're producing so much milk. I could bring it, bring in a ton of hay and not worry about it. And the same is true with the silage. So you know, the cows are manageable. But as I keep saying, two hundred thirty-seven thousand liters of slurry. Yeah, we got that too. Um, I need to figure out something to do with that. Plus the manure. We've got a big pile of manure. And as one of the uh, church leaders once said on a church that I went to, people see clergymen like a pile of manure. In a big pile, it stinks. But if you spread it over the land, it does it good. Anyway, 300,000 litres of manure. I need a manure truck. There was a manure truck up for sale last year, but I didn't buy it. And, yeah, again, it's... <coughs> we're, go we're going to increase the amount of manure we're putting out there because I only put a small amount and I still used up a lot of solid fertiliser topping off our fields. So going forwards, we're going to be using that to reduce our our artificial fertilisation income. But anyway, I probably waffled on for long enough now. Um, we will call it a day. We'll be back next week on the 17th. 12th. What? No, it's the 3rd of December. Okay. Next week is the 10th. Mrs. Osen may still be in hospital. So I will be streaming sometime next week, but possibly not for a normal full length. It's not worth much. It's worth about £750 per trip. Um, 17th, Mrs. Osa should be home by then. But again, we don't know. Um, but maybe a, a normal stream then. Um, the following week, we have probably... Um, day off on the 23rd and the 24th unfortunately Christmas Day is a Sunday so I will not stream for that um, and then New Year's will be streaming the 30th and the 31st New Year's Day again is a Sunday I will not be streaming on the Sunday um, I don't know if we get the Mondays off so I don't know if we get the 26th and the 2nd of January off. If those happen to be holidays, they will be also streaming days. So, um, much like we did over Thanksgiving, where I did a stream on Thursday, a stream on Friday, and a stream on Saturday, um, there may be something similar in the works over Christmas and New Year's, but we'll have to see. And I might give this farm a break on at least one of those days if I do decide to stream something. Um, but as I said, for right now, I think we'll call it a day. I will get this grass wrapped and um, I will see you next week. But for right now, have fun everybody. I'm out of here. <laughs>